DrLaura.com. I'm back, and I want to thank all of my guests today for being brave enough to face the truth about themselves and others, or a little bit. Well, let's take a look at the results of my web poll. You'll recall that earlier in the program, we told you that we posted this question on the website. How many times have you not told the truth because you didn't want to hurt your close friend or loved one? Well, here's how you voted. 14% of you say, many times. Get over it. The truth hurts. I have a comment about that in a moment. 74% say, sometimes, and it depends on the consequences. 12% say, never. Honesty is always the best policy. OK, I agree. And you know what? Your kids are ugly. <laughs> Gee, I'm just being honest. Your kids are stupid and ugly. Now I'm being more honest. No, too much honesty is wrong. But don't get off track here with me. Stay with me for a moment. There is no reason to say certain truths when the only function is to hurt. When somebody says, so, like, when you think about my clothes, and you hate them because it's not your style, or you really don't think it looks terrific on them, can't you find something like, oh, that feels nice and soft, or, gee, the color looks nice with your eyes. It's called compassion. It's called being a decent human being. It's called being sensitive to the feelings of others. I have found so often when people call my radio program and want to tell the truth to somebody, there really is an ulterior motive, and it is to be cruel. It is to hurt. And to pass it off on to, well, I'm just being honest, even shows the cruelty in that. If there is really no need to know, if there is really no benefit to be gained from that person, and it really just gives you a moment of supreme power and a little bit of joy that you get to, mm, don't do it, because it isn't the right thing. Now, go do the right thing. Mm -hmm.